boys and girls, would you like to learn how to draw a Chinese opera mask? Just watch. Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Mr. Smith's Art Room for Kids. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to draw an authentic Beijing opera mask from China. This is a more difficult project, so it's going to be for 13 and over. In May of 2018, Mr. Smith, another chaperone, and 19 high school kids took a trip to China. We lived in Xi'an, China, which is the start of the Silk Road. And we lived there for five weeks. And then we traveled by train to Beijing and we stayed there for one week. And Beijing is the capital of China. While in China, we saw some amazing things. We lived with Chinese families. The students went to school Monday through Thursday. On Friday, we would tour the city or the countryside. And we loved the food, we loved the people, and the culture was most amazing. And the art, oh my goodness, the art. I was in heaven. One day, while we were going through a marketplace, I saw the Beijing Opera Mask for the first time, and I was truly amazed, and I knew this was something that I wanted to share with my students here in the United States. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to draw a Beijing Opera Mask. After seeing these masks, I just knew I had to create a project that I could share with students here at home. The name of a book that would be very helpful for you is called Facial Designs of Beijing Opera Masks. I'll be leaving a link in the description and the book is by the author Red Earth. Now I just need you to do a few things for me before we get started. I need you to like my video, subscribe, share it with a friend, and hit that bell so that you get a notification when my new videos come out. All right, I know you're probably saying Beijing Opera Mask. Yes, hang in there, watch this. I think you will like it. I truly do, trust me, it's a thing of beauty. All right, let's get started. First, I'm making the oval for the mask face, and then I'm using a ruler to make guidelines so I can figure out the center point of the face, which will help me in my decision for my eye line. And then I'm gonna make ovals for the eye shape. Starting underneath, then making the Oval over top. I'm making a U shape for the nose. And I'm starting to put in some places where I know the butterfly design is going to go. And then there is also this um, like jewel shape in the forehead. Planning out the wings for the butterfly. And that's what drew me to this mask was the butterfly on his face. It was very different from the hundreds of masks which I looked at before getting ready to start this. Working on his chin, lips, ears. Face is a little wide. I'm going to have to shorten it some, slender it out. Working on the top eyes for the butterfly. 
curving shapes for the antenna. And then figuring out where I'm going to put these teardrop shapes that go on the side to make these designs. Thank goodness for erasers. I do a lot of correcting and feeling out exactly where I want things to be placed. Especially when I'm doing a precise drawing, which this mass really is. I also picked it for the colors. And then were the designs that were inside the butterfly's wings that really drew me to doing this mass. This mass is called Lee Key. Now, actual performers in the Beijing Opera, they have two main methods for creating their face. They either use, either use masks or they paint their faces themselves. And opera in Beijing is an all-male thing. The men even play the roles of the women to this day. Getting close to getting everything to fall into place. I'm really liking how the butterfly is going. Cleaning up the outsides of the shape of the face. It was a bit rounder than it should be. It was a, needed to be a slender mass. Now time to outline with marker. I'm using my thin line marker now. I like the thin line to go over the lines and then I can outline later on. And then it helps me to get into the small nooks and crannies that I can't get into with a larger marker. Lee Key with a black broken butterfly face. It was adopted from an episode in New History of a revised novel from the Ming Dynasty. We're talking about 221 BC. Now also in the Beijing Opera, they had seven categories divided according to the characters in the opera. You had a male role, then you had a scholarly middle-aged Mandarin officer or scholar type. Hong Sheng meant the character with a red face. And then you also had a character, a handsome young male with no beard. Many of the actors were very good using martial arts. And as I said before, they played all the roles of women.
Now, red is known for a color of faithfulness, truthfulness, and courage. Black suggests serious, quiet disposition, including strength and roughness. White reveals a crafty or suspicious character. Purple, the symbol of seriousness, serenity, and a sense of justice. Yellow, representing intelligence and calculation or bravery when used in warrior roles. Blue shows uprightness or stubbornness. Green indicates bravery and easy to get angry. Gold and silver usually used in monsters or symbolize mystery. And they are many, many masks to choose. In the Beijing Opera. In this video, I just showed you a picture of a few. But if you happen to purchase the book that I suggested, You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And understand the number of these masks that have been created. Well, I'm going to concentrate on my coloring. So I don't want to make any mistakes. Even though I did make a slight one, but as I tell my students, you can make an error and sometimes an error can turn out to be a good thing. And it did. It helped me immensely. So continue watching. I'll come back toward the end after I finish my drawing. I'm done. What do you think? Did I do a good job? I really enjoyed doing my Beijing Opera Mass. I hope you'll try it because you'll have a lot of fun doing it too. Hey boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed drawing your Chinese Opera Mass. I had a great time showing you how to do it. Just remember a few things. Like my video, subscribe, share it with a friend, hit that bell, and if you do a drawing that you're proud of, send it in. I'll post it on my Instagram page and share it with everyone. All right, it's been fun having you in Mr. Smith's art room. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.